So first, if we're going to talk about what bursitis is, we need to know what a bursa is. A bursa is a fluid-filled sac. There are about 160 or a little over 160 of them throughout the entire body. They serve a purpose to promote motion and decrease friction between tendon and skin and prominent areas of bone. Sometimes these areas, these fluid-filled sacs, can become compressed and become irritated and inflammation sets in. That's when it's determined that it's bursitis. Bursitis can show up all over the body. There are some more common areas though that we see it in, specifically the shoulder, hip, knee, and elbow. Sometimes it occurs in the ankle, but the others are probably the areas that we see it the most often. If we're looking at a specific area and we've determined that you have bursitis, there are different treatment options that we can use. Starting conservatively, we start with ice, rest, or activity modification, and also using non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines like ibuprofen or Aleve. If those don't work or if it's become recalcitrant or not improving with those different treatment options, then we get a little bit more specific and may use diagnostic and therapeutic injections of something like a corticosteroid. Those work by sometimes taking the fluid and decreasing the inflammation because the corticosteroid itself is a heavy or a very powerful anti-inflammatory medicine. In other areas of the body, say along the elbow or olecranon bursitis, or in the knee, pre-patellar bursitis, we actually take fluid out. Sometimes we'll test it to see if there's bacteria involved or if it's an infection. In those cases, we have to treat it with antibiotics and potentially even surgery. But if it's not related to an, to an infection, then just taking the fluid out and then inserting corticosteroid again can help decrease the size of the bursitis and potentially be part of the overall treatment for it. If someone has bursitis and they've already been treated for it, there are good ways to try and prevent it from coming back. One of those ways is protection. If you have bursitis and it's developed over your knees or your elbow, it may be job related or activity related. So trauma can potentially cause it to come back or worsen. So a way to do that is padding over the elbow or also over the knee. If it's related to the shoulder or hip, sometimes that can be chronic use problems. So avoiding the same activity over and over again can also decrease your chance of having it come back. If it's not something that you can avoid, then attempting to alter the way you perform an activity can also help decrease your chance of having the bursitis come back.